still a lot to process, um, honestly. Um, it was overwhelming. I just found myself at a loss for words. That's how Tia Johnson is reacting after her son says an assistant coach at Metropolitan Community College put him in a chokehold at a team workout the day after Christmas here at this gym. The college says despite the coach and several of the players being at the gym, it was not a school-sponsored event. It was shocking. He was really shocked. I could tell um, by his face he was just very dismayed about how it would even get to a point like that. The team practiced on the court when things got heated. In video reviewed by Fox 4, you can hear two people going back and forth. The student alleges in a police report filed on December 29th, the coach told him to go into the locker room. That's when he says the coach locked the door and grabbed him by his shirt. A tussle ensued, ending with that player in a chokehold. After that, other players got into the locker room, according to Johnson's son. That's when the altercation ended. It was pretty unbelievable. I mean, he's had a great rapport with all the coaches. Tonight, the community college is responding, saying in part, Mr. Freeman was not acting in an official MCC capacity during the time of the alleged incident. Nevertheless, we take these allegations very seriously and are conducting an investigation into the matter. Mr. Freeman has been suspended from his coaching duties during this ongoing investigation. It's important to shine the light on these issues, not just for my son, but for any student athlete. And um, just to know that all of our children are, are safe when we send them out. To read the school's full response, you can do so by clicking on this story on fox4kc.com. And as we learn more information and this investigation concludes, we will make sure to update you on air and online. In Kansas City, Missouri, I'm Malik Jackson, Fox 4, working for you.